as the number one MetaZoo content creator, I have some bad news. There's been a lot of delays in MetaZoo product. I've actually studied MetaZoo because honestly, it is cheaper than anything else. Like Fire Emblem Heroes is sitting at $50, $60 a box. Fire Emblem Cypher is sitting at $60 a box and you only get 16 booster packs. You got boxes of this product sitting at $40 and when they go on sale, which is really obvious, right? Uh, Card Shop Live, they sell for $30 a box. That's less than, I mean, that's that's very, very little amount of money for a booster pack. So it might be worth if you are just like me and you love cracking packs and you want to do it as cheaply as possible, then it might actually be worth a flyer. I don't know. It is definitely interesting because it's cheaper than a lot of dead games, Dragonborn, uh, Will, what was it called? Force of Will. These games are actually more expensive than Meta Zoo, and those games have died a long time ago. Or even Inuyasha packs are going for ten, eight dollars a pack. My God, uh, it's just not. Um, hmm, how can I say it? This product is so cheap that you have to take a look at it, even if you think it is a shitty product, which I do. I think the artwork is shitty. I think the mechanics are shitty. I think the Rudy Chan cards and the fact that they basically sold their soul to Rudy Chan for Rudy Chan cards and playmats is shitty. However, it's cheap. And when you look at something, from my perspective, I look at how cheap it is. This game, there is no cheaper card. I mean, name me one cheaper card game right now and I'll go out and buy it. I think this could be the cheapest card game that's still living today. Uh, if you guys disagree with me, let me know, again, living, that they're making new sets, they're making new products. and Because when they're living, there, it's like some chance, right? There's some chance that the thing can recover. And uh, when the game is dead, it's really hard. They lose the license. Um, the print factory goes cold. They're, they're losing the ink. It's really, really, really hard when the game goes dead. Uh, in my opinion, but when the game is still going and they're printing a lot, it is fascinating because the price point is is so cheap and the boxes, now God forbid that you actually bought this product. I'm actually on David Adams looking at MetaZero right now because they often have products way cheaper than TCG Player, for, especially if they want to offload a product Chrome Hobby 8 box case, 8 box cases, 20 packs of box, 4 cards per pack is now on discount from $1,999.95 to $669. You save, what, $300, more than $400, $430 on a $670 product. That's not bad. Nightfall is on cheap. Everything on, on sale. UFO... Theme decks, wilderness. Yeah, this thing is so cheap. I don't know. Oh, these spell books. I mean, I saw spell books on Card Shop Live for like $10, and you get what, 10 packs? That's like incredible. That's like a dollar a pack. That's, in that's legit incredible. So let's go to Meta Zoo. Uh, and also, Card Shop Live doesn't even have, I mean, they have. Pokemon Magic Box Breaks, Flesh and Blood, and then you have to go to Others and then click on MetaZoo. Okay, all right, you got Nightfall Spellbook, first edition, not that that matters because they're all first edition, I think, for 20 bucks, $2 a pack. $2 a pack is incredible. Man, that's crazy. Uh, you got Brilliant, uh, the Aurora, and these are not sales. These are just regular everyday things that they're selling. Yeah, you got the uh, Tribal Fiend deck, first edition, for 19 You save 12 bucks. Got another Fiend deck. You got this Lizards. Like, the artwork, I wish they had better artwork, but the artwork is kind of shitty. But if they had better artwork, I would be all in, man. I'm not going to lie to you, man, my dude. I'd be all in, because, like, at $2 or a dollar a pack, that's so cheap. You know what? That's cheaper than Meta X, I remember. I don't know. If you're sitting 
if you like Alpha Investments is sitting on a shit ton of these boxes and you want to let them go for $30, I'm a serious buyer. So I'm not talking about your, I don't care about the night falls or seances or that shit. If you just want to get out of it for $30, I think they're going for $40-ish. Um, let me actually check. On TCG Player, uh, I will also buy any Rooji Chan. So like, what's it called? Crypto Nation 2nd Edition. Uh, the last one sold for $44.98. After TCG fees, you're down to 40 but you're not selling in volume, right? Like for instance, the first edition of Wilderness, one sold eight six twenty three, uh, that was for fifty dollars and ninety cents. And then the next one, the previous one sold July thirtieth twenty three, that was for fifty dollars and ninety five cents. And then July twenty fifth, so you're talking about every five days, uh, even more, even longer. You're talking about like every five to ten days, one box sells. Might be interesting to buy you out. And this guy who's selling at $50.90 with shipping included Kings of Cardboard, he's got 106 of these that he will be willing to sell. So he's he will not be beat. He will not be beat. He will be the lowest for a long time. I've actually kind of struggled with this question. Do I just like opening packs or open packs? Or do I just like opening packs to like try to get hits? I think I like opening packs just to open packs, just to have that, you know. I don't know. I'm sure some of you idiots bought a ton of these from Rudy Chan for like $100 a box, maybe $500 a box. I don't know what he's selling them for. Hit me up. 